what, uh, what do you think of him as a hire? I think it's a great hire. I mean, I supported it. You know, I voted for him. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I did. <laughs> um, I'm just happy that he's, he's here. He uh, seems to respect the Hokies and what we have going on and also has a good background to help us move forward. Who were some of the other people you looked at or finalists? Uh, am I supposed to? Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. I mean, it's, good, it's good for us. That's it's your call. No, That's a good question. That's a good question. No. Let's just say that it was strong, and he kind of he rose to the top. Um, the top three candidates were really strong, and uh, that's what we we narrowed it down to. And then they kind of chose from the, the two presidents chose from the top three. You were obviously the one with the football background in the search committee. Did you look at what he had done with the football program at Cincinnati and, and stuff like that, and take that into your consideration? Yeah, man. I, I kind of you know I went through all the resumes that I could and the cover letters. Made Make sure that you know everything's professional. I mean, it's, it's a big deal. It's a big, uh, it's a big position and big shoes to fill. So, uh, you know, we I think we all on the committee did our due diligence and made sure that he would be you know, the right candidate. Did you like what he had done at Cincinnati? I think he hired Tuberville. They worked on the renovation project for the football stadium and everything like that. Right. Yeah. I, I know. He, I know some of the things he did, and that's a, that was one of the big projects. Um, he did some marketing with the Reds. You know, he kind of lined us up with the Reds and not the Bengals, which is a good thing, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and um, th those type of things take uh, somebody who has an open mind with creativity and things like that, and I think that would be good here. Well, what did you feel like you personally were looking for in an athletic director? When you were kind of looking through all the candidates, what were you kind of looking for, like some qualities? Or something? Uh, for me, it was a, a, a person who would – who I could tell cared about the, the athletes you know, as students first and then athletes. Um, because without without the guys on the field or performance, then um, everything else kind of falls apart. So I just wanted, for me, somebody who could you know respect both sides of it. So him being a former student athlete, his dad being a former coach, I could tell that he had those qualities. Um, he has a, a humble demeanor, but at the same time, you can tell he can uh, he has leadership qualities, so I'm just happy to see the good, that combination. Was he the guy you wanted out of all the people you talked to uh, uh, as, as a committee member, or was there a different person you had in mind? Or uh... Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, we had some some people who interviewed that had some hokey um, experience. And, um, of course, I was pulling for those guys in the beginning. But then, you know, basically, he got down to the final three, and he was the best. And, you know, I'm proud of him, glad he's here. Like I said, I voted for him, so he has my endorsement. If that means anything to anybody. <laughs> what, were, what were sort of your marching orders as part of the committee? Were you given specific things to, to look at and look for? Um, was was each person sort of told, you know, try to check this out, you, you look at this, you look at this, you check this out, you try to sort of try to determine this kind of factor? Were there, I mean, they were, were you, as the committee members, did yeah. we have separate tasks? Did you have separate tasks at all, or were, or were you given marching orders to sort of look at it from a certain perspective? I think it was kind of open, um, but at the same time, we did have uh, criteria, you know, certain amount of years of experience that we should look at. And um, in the beginning, we, we, we asked could we change that amount because we thought it was pretty high, and then um, just to keep it open so we didn't miss an up-and-coming person. So uh, we had a certain set of criteria, but I didn't, I didn't disagree with any of it. But I felt like it was all good criteria to judge on. Were you okay with the makeup of the committee? I mean, there weren't exactly a lot of athletic types on that committee. It was mostly academic types, professors, oh, I'm being the only vice one. president. <laughs> I mean, do you feel that like with people, was there enough knowledge about the athletic situation on that committee? I mean, you know, should there be more Kevin Jones people on there, or was it, was it, was it, was the committee? Uh, were you okay with the makeup of the committee? I think it was. I think I have good knowledge because the athletic department. Um, is involved all around campus, you know, as far as you know, marketing and uh, definitely with education. So I don't think it was uh, heavily one way or other. Obviously, I was the only athlete in, in the room, but at the same time, I felt like I'm well versed on what goes on over here in athletics. I'm not there every day, but I do the in and out. So. What, what sold you the most on Babcock? I mean, his interview was great. I mean, um, seeing his resume at first, I, I was like, oh, Cincinnati guy, you know. And then once I found out he was from Virginia, so then I started thinking that, you know, he has some knowledge of Virginia Tech. And then actually seeing him in the interview, it's just like you guys see him today, he's, he has a, a demeanor where it seems like he's laid back, but at the same time you can tell that when things have to get done, you know, he'll be the man, he'll be the first in line to get it done. Did you feel like there was enough attention paid to minority candidates? and was, did, that, did that matter to you at all? Well, we had some minority candidates, um, and they did a good job also. I will say that uh, some of the minority candidates made it, 
you know, pretty far in the, in the race. But like I said, he was the best one. And I think I don't think anyone on the committee would disagree. He was almost unanimous. It's kind of off topic, but I know like John Blinn had some comments about you know former uh, alumni or you know players not really being real involved. Did, did it mean a lot to you to be involved in this? And I guess what's kind of your feeling about other guys? You know, maybe guys you played with or before their involvement. In well, I was honored to be involved. First of all, let me say that. Um, so when I got asked to be on the committee, I, I, I was like, of course. And I think that we probably do need to do a better job of reaching back at some of the former um, tech guys um, to be to be around and be involved with the program because a lot of guys have time on their hands when they're done playing um, to be around. I mean, they're the Hokies. We all know them. Um, I'm not the only one that can be around. So let's let's reach out. And I think Whit he addressed that because he asked me about that in the in the interview process, and I told him yeah, that would be a great idea. That was one of the things I told him that should happen. Right? What do you think? Out to the alumni here. What do you think about the state of kind of the football program right now? Obviously, not ten wins for the past two seasons, but still winning seasons and bowls. What's kind of your take on, on what's going on there? Well, we all want to win more. Um, I know uh, we want to win a national championship. Period. And, uh, we don't have one, so it, that's the that's the main goal. Um, I think we have pieces in, in place, but we also need to get better, whether it be with coaches and players. Um, definitely uh, on and off the field. Um, you always can get better every year. So right now where I see the program is still trying to grow. Um, we're not where we want to be today, but hopefully we can get there soon. What have you been up to lately? I'm in school studying um, industrial design. I'll be done in May. Um, not in a big rush to get out of here, but we'll see what happens. Um, I love it here. We'll see what happens. How long have you been back in school? Uh, three years now. Three years. Yeah, well, it'll be three years at the end. Okay.